What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Roger Lemagane, in the flesh. And I just finished our, what I would constitute as my, my spring experience. Ha! I'll go with that. My spring experience. That sounds fantastic, right? So, well, how was my spring experience? It was... It was alright. You know? It was... Let me just tell you, so I only watched two shows, y'all. Well, I already got a video on um, Nomad Megalobox second season. Thank y'all for watching that, if y'all did. But from my experience from this industry is that it was unpleasant, just like my shirt. It's unpleasant. And reason why? Well, for those of you who know my tastes, that know I came from the Night Watch. Y'all should know my preferences, but it really just wasn't. Okay, so there was only two shows, realistically, I was watching from the <clears throat> from the spring experience i'll call it the spring experience and honestly man i'm just done it's just like what okay so i just finished mars red so that's the show i'll talk about because i wanted to do a reveal video because it started out as a pretty good show but then all the loose ends that it kind of had at the end, got tied up last minute in the last episode, last two kind of, but it just really kind of like abrupt, it just got rushed, it just felt rushed, and I didn't want to even rush this out, like, I have this issue, supposedly, where if the show, if the show doesn't really engage me or in, like commit to me fully, I don't feel like it deserves a review, so to speak, I was like, I, not to say that I was struggling to make the Joe review, but it's just like, I don't want to waste my time on something that I don't want to fully promote to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you know, on by day, we're going that route, but you get the idea. It just doesn't make any sense. Like maybe I just got to explore a little bit deeper. Maybe that's probably what it is, but I'll do that next season. Um, yeah, I'll do that next season. I might do a sneak peek video. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but eh, I just finished Mars Red. I didn't really care for how it ended. It left open ended, like it usually always does. You know, you, you think you would think that I've watched anime long enough to know how these things go, but anyways, that's all I gotta say. Post impressions. I'm making this video because I don't know if I even care to do a Mars review or Mars Red review. But it wasn't my, it was I, it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't something I, I, the only, I, see, I'm messing with the camera. I try to be as optimistic as possible. So I don't want to waste time on shows that I don't think are worth y'all time. So we're just going to move right along from Mars Red. I had a review thought for it, but I don't even want to, I didn't want to give it enough effort. You know, not to discredit those who made the show. You know, I'm not saying that they did a terrible job. They did a pretty good job on making a well-illustrated show. You know, the action scenes were decent. Or they were great for what, how they did it, you know, in the vampire style. Yeah, they were disappearing, popping in and out of the scene. But, you know, it was viewed from the human perspective on how vampire fights looked. And that was cool. But other than that, in terms of how everybody's story resolved, it was predictable. Not even predictable, but it was like, okay... How can you do it differently? They didn't, I didn't feel like they did it differently from anybody else. So, there's my two cents. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, my patrons may get an extended version of this. But, thank you guys for watching. That is Majula Magane in the flesh. Coming at you with a post impression slash review slash seasonal impression. <laughs> too many things in this episode. Too many things. Anyways.